Alright, let's talk about things that you can do in your everyday life to save money. And so if your goal is to have more money, a quick way to get there is to spend less money. And, and honestly, without a huge long intro, let's just jump right into it. Number one is that you should use credit cards. Paying with cash or using a debit card is really just losing you money. All right, so most credit cards offer some sort of rewards. So money that you're already spending that you would normally spend with cash or with your debit card, you can use your credit card on and then gain rewards or cash back. So essentially you're sort of saving money on things that you're already buying. And most credit cards are free. They don't really charge an annual fee. So it doesn't really cost you money to use one. Just don't spend more than you have. Simple rule of thumb when using credit cards. So they give you rewards, they also help build your credit, and they have pretty good fraud protection if your card gets stolen or someone steals your credit card information, things like that. Whereas with debit card or cash, you really don't have that same luxury. Number two is that you should join loyalty programs for restaurants, stores, and just other businesses, things like that. Now, what I do is I created a junk email specifically for these loyalty programs. I use that email to sign up for these programs so that way it doesn't spam my, my actual email. The reason you should do this is because loyalty programs generally offer discounts, rewards, different types of coupons, etc. For example, I'm part of the rewards program for Costa Vida, <laughs> the restaurant that sells Mexican food. And every time I go there, which isn't a ton, I can scan my receipt, get points for the items I'm already going to buy, which then help me get discounts or free food later on. And honestly, how long does it take to scan or, you know, whip out your phone, take a picture of your receipt? Not very long at all. Probably do that before you even get your food. Now, now speaking of food, that brings us to number three, is that eat, that you should eat out less. And I know I struggle with this a lot because I'm not a very good cook. I, I suck at cooking and I hate cooking. I hate the cleanup with cooking, right? So I eat out a lot more than I probably should. But honestly, most of the time we eat out, it's probably not as healthy as what we could cook ourselves. And you're probably gonna be saving money so essentially you're saving money and eating healthier. And this kind of goes against the Alex Hormozzi train of thought. If, and if you don't know who Alex Hormozzi is, he's basically a business guy. He has a YouTube channel, great content if you're in business, um, specifically in sales and marketing and things like that. Great, Get, he gives great tips and crazy good information. He's very smart and he knows what he's doing. Now, he says that for him, it's not worth cooking, cleaning, buying groceries, he saves more money and saves more time by just going out, buying Chipotle, right? Now for him, that's probably true, but he's made millions and millions of dollars, over 100 million. Now, I don't know about you, but me personally, I, I'm not making millions of dollars right now. So for me, I can't really justify eating out for 10, $15 every meal when I could make it for less than five bucks probably eat healthier. Yes, I'm not, I'm, now I'm not saying to cut it out completely. Like I, I'd probably never be able to do that. But by eating out less, you're eating healthier and saving money. All right, tip number four is that you should shop around when looking to make bigger purchases. Don't always buy from the first person you talk to or the first time you see that item in a store. Odds are is that you can find that exact same item somewhere else for way cheaper. Now, I'm not saying you should go to the grocery store and look at every single item you're gonna buy and then go to another grocery store and, and see if it's cheaper or not, but I'm talking about like bigger purchases. What easily comes to mind is like cars, maybe your cell phone, a computer, things like that. You could probably find it online or go to another store that has a discount and get it for cheaper rather than buying it from the first person that offers it to you. Which brings me to the fifth point, which is that you should restrict your online shopping. Use the 24 hour rule, which is basically like, if you see something online that you want and you think you gotta have it, wait 24 hours and come back to it. And if you still want it then, then maybe you should consider getting it. But a lot of times, I know for me and a lot of people I know, online purchases are very 
compulsive. And we spend a lot of our hard earned money on these unnecessary items that we really don't need or we probably won't use a month from now. All right, number six is that you should carpool, all right? Have you seen gas prices lately? They're getting crazier and crazier, right? You never, gas is expensive. So if you can carpool to an event, carpool to work, carpool to your restaurant with the group of friends, and you're gonna save money doing this. I know it might be a little inconvenient. You like to have your alone time in the morning when you're carpooling to work or whatever it may be, but you know, you're gonna save money. Now the seventh and the last tip that I'm gonna talk to you guys about today is that you should track your spending and really create a budget. Now I know that you've probably heard that before, but it makes a huge difference, I promise. Now keeping a budget is not very glamorous. It's annoying, it's tedious, it's not fun. But I can promise you that if you know where your money's being spent, and really the only way to do that is to keep a budget and track where you're spending your money. Otherwise, you're gonna forget about purchases that you made. You're gonna think that you spent less money on fast food than you really did. You really don't know how much you're spending on things until you really dive in and you look at the numbers, you know where your money's going. You would be surprised what you might be spending money on that you don't realize. So track it and create a budget around it. <laughs> and there you have it, those are the seven tips to help you save more money. Now, they're easy things you can do day to day that don't require a ton of effort, that really will help you out. Thank you so much for watching, I, I really appreciate it. Please smash the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.